before we move anywhere. I like the horse to feel that. So, currently fed the lines through uh, the setup that Oliver Pulls provided. And I like the horse to feel these uh, lines up on her back because they're more than likely good girl to end up upper tail and all over the place as we work sometimes the first times things don't go like we want so let's see how that works one of the things I'm not liking already is the saddle pad just caught the um, line so I might change my saddle pad situation a bit so just leave it like that for right now and see how it goes but right now it's just about teaching the horse that the lines can come up on the side of her the girl the girl and to teach her without moving that the lines go over her back the girl that I can come around one side to the other so she catches me in her eye slide the rope up the side of her body so she feels that good girl excellent bravo and it's you know preferable when you do this the first time if you have a ground person around to help hold the horse stand still Good girl. Or you can do it on a cross tie, which I, like I said, I've tested this out with her uh, in smaller amounts. I'm just doing it more, more. Good girl. Sorry, I pulled on that rein a bit much. So the nice setup with Oliver Pull's technique is that he puts that little extra leather piece, which uh, is easily found for people that use those. Uh, bits uh, that have two rein attachments and they want just to attach one rein. So that's the attachment that's going from the halter to the bit. By putting it to the halter it prevents it from taking uh, direct aid to the bit. It softens the, the aid. So now I'm going to work with the whip on the horse. Remind her of the things she knows. Good girl. What a good girl. So I've been wanting to use this technique and approach uh, previously, but I was waiting for Rodrigo to come and go. And now that he's gone, I didn't like the way she was on her last lesson and workout with me. So I wanted to make sure, good girl, that uh, we took a step back out of the saddle and uh, reinvestigated some work from the ground to help her with her back. Um, she had a sore back when she came in. Sometimes she mimics that she's sore and she's not. One minute you'll brush her, she acts like she's back sore. The next minute she's not. <laughs> so uh, it's tricky to diagnose whether she's actually sore. I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt today and say that our last workout was longer than normal. Probably... She could be sore from that workout. And uh, we want to make sure that we give her every chance, particularly because she's a recovering horse, to feel better. All of these swirly twirlies on here still. I think I have to untie these to get all the squirrels out. Good girl. So it's nice to do this uh, still with the horse. These are new draw, uh, not draw, long lines. And so uh, it's a bit more difficult to get to do what I want yet. I feel like it's broken in with some good old sweat. Hi, huh, girl. Nothing breaks things in better than some good old sweat.
go. It's better, a little less twisted. So it's important to have a straight contact from the bit to the horse's mouth. And uh, that's why I'm going through all this extra effort. There we go. Now, that inside rein in the beginning doesn't get fed anywhere. Um, I know Oliver, I'm going to do, do it Oliver's way. Instead of tying it like this, he feeds the rein through to the side like this. It does help a little bit more with the incurvature of the horse. And I think it also helps take up the rein so they're more even and it's less challenging to adjust. Walk up. Good girl. So I just want to get the horse to walk at first. Good girl. I want to take it easy with her. I'm not going to go far. I'm going to start with the reins. So instead of pulling on the rein to the outside too much, I'm going to use the whip on the shoulder to say, hey, and to the right, right. And I use the whip up here a little bit to help encourage that. Right. There you go. So this is an issue she's having even under saddle. Walk up. Walk up. Good. Good. Turn right. There. Excellent. Bravo. So this is the reason why I wanted to go to this to teach this horse a little bit more about the reins. Excellent. And to sort out some of her issues. Good girl. Without being in the saddle, and if in fact she is back sore, not putting any pressure on her back. There you go. So now she's decided walking is an okay thing. Good job. So we're gonna work on keeping this horse forward more. Excellent, but not flat. So I wanna get her under herself. Because that's one of the problems that she's having. Good. So you're going to see me go after the hind legs. This permits me to do that because I can get behind her a little bit easier. I'm not using a long lash. I would add tangle to the game and I don't want to tangle anything. You want to use just a flippy end at best. Good. Right. Good. There. Straighten. Good. There. Left. Good. Good job. I want the horse to be able to walk and release her head forward, so I'm not trying to keep a contact that's too strong. Good girl. Again, she's trying to turn in, so I'm using the whip as a guide. Good. Good. Left. Left. Good. Straight. 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 So we're not quite getting in the corner. Left. So Oliver's excellent at making sure he uses exactly the same command each time. Good. Excellent. Bravo. Straight. Straight. Good. Good girl. Much better into the corner. Good girl. So we're going to work on how to approach with her into the corner and get her deeper. I'm going to catch the shoulder here, push in at the girth here. Where she's falling and tell her to engage in the hip. Good. Catch the shoulder, push it to girth, engage the hips. Excellent. Good girl. Wow. Excellent. So I want her to do it just at the walk and not feel rushed at the trot. There we go, and I'll push her out a little further from me. 
there like that so now we're gonna work our technique a little there you go so now she's widening the base at the hip so she's stepping out better on the outside hind to get a better balance instead of falling in the circle that's the point excellent excellent circles are easier to work at first than straight lines but they're too much circles is not good excellent straight straight good excellent so i'm trying to use a little bit the outside rein with the whip towards the shoulder so she doesn't fall in and now we'll do another volte left Again, tell her to push that hip open and get under herself a little bit. Good. Left. Very nice. Good girl. So she has a nice relaxed head set. She's not over curled. It's exactly why Oliver uses this setup. It can be very light on the inside rein. Excellent. <laughs> nice. Good girl! And I have to say, this horse is really smart and very willing to sort things out with me. I'm not going to vault a here because I have no wall to support me. And the outside rail is often confusing to her. So we're just going to go straight through until I get to the next corner where I have a bit more support here already. She wants to turn in. Straight. Good left so she voltes making sure my contact isn't tight but gives and supports and again remembering we're trying to teach a horse to have the contact on the outside and the give on the inside this setup that Oliver pulls has like this is very easy to help manage doing it Ah, uh, up. Okay, you're not getting bugs. It's not bug time. Good, good. Excellent. So she was getting a little low up front, so I'm going to push the hip. Take the outside rein, make sure the inside rein's released. Excellent. I'd rather have a little trot. Good girl. Good. Then an overcurled horse that's down in front. So I'm going to start working those transitions. This is excellent because one of this horse's problems was being driven with side reins into the left shoulder from really poor skills on the ground. And this is really helping me to sort out that shoulder and teach her a better balance. Walk up. Good. And as she's pregnant, this will help me when I feel it's unfair to ride to have another way to keep her fit. Excellent. Straight. Straight. Good. Good girl. So, Nate. Good. Excellent. Bravo. Excellent. Walk. Good. It's one of the reasons I'm not going far away is so she doesn't stop and turn to go the other way. Which is something that sometimes horses think to do to get out of this gig. Very good. Left, turn, left, very nice, ah, very nice. So it helped me catch the shoulders and push the hip there. Ah, use the outside rein, a little bit of flexion inside, a little bit more flexion inside. There, so now I caught her attention with her eye here when I jingled the inside rein. 
and the whip. Yes, now I'm going to push your hip. Good, jingle the inside rein and the whip. Bravo. Excellent. Ah. 